Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the integration of SD billing document with convergent invoicing billing document which is also known as CI billing document. Okay. So what could be the business concept context wherein we can include a SD billing document with our CI billing document. Okay. So in order to understand uh, so any billable item we are getting processed in our convergent invoicing system for any subscription char charges for whom the source document category is INVVI. Okay, that means any billable item with source document type is INVVI which has been processed within CI system in order to create a billing document. Okay, so that is my CI billing document. After that, if any billing document which we are receiving from the SD team that has a source document type as VBRK, you can see it is also mentioned in the slide here. So that is what we call it SD billing document. Okay. So just to give you an example of it, suppose our customer are getting charged for a subscription based services. Okay. Let's take an example of a printing industry wherein the customer are getting charged based on customer's uses. Okay. Like one time charges, recurring charges and the users charges at the same time. If the printer stopped working, so it has to be fixed. Now uh, there has to be an engineer visit in the premise which will be sent by the SD department. Now the SD team will have another set of charges which is for the visiting of the engineer and fixing of the printer. So now we are going to get another billing document from SD team. So processing of both the billing document, one is CI billing document in the CI system and the other one is SD billing document in the CI system. Now consolidating both of the billing document and sending a single invoice, a consolidated invoice with combined charges to the customer is that the requirement out here. That is what we are going to learn and see how we can set up the configuration in order to achieve this. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, in this slide, you can see that I just wanted to show you that in this slide, there is one billing document which, uh, which has been created after processing of billable item. It is in CI system. So that is my CI billing document. Okay. The billing document is ending with 74. You can see the number is mentioned here. This is my CI billing document. Okay. And what is the configuration behind that? So to create the billable do billing document uh, and how to process the billable con uh, items and the configuration. There is already video available in the same channel. You can refer that video wherein end to end configuration is been shown that how we can generate a CI billing document. Okay. Let's move to the next slide. So in this slide, we can see that Invoi uh, in this invoicing order, we can easily see there is a VVRK document. This VVRK document is ending with 1-3. And that means it is a SD billing document. And it is already been pushed from the SD team. Okay. And the other one you can see is INVVI, which is my CI billing document. Now, we can see that both of the billing document in this screen and one is from CI system and another one is pushed from the SD team. So, it is available in this invoicing order. So, in order to consolidate both of them, we need to do certain configuration and we will talk about it in the next slide. Okay. So, let us move to the next slide. So, here in this Third slide, in order to enable the functionality, only the configuration we need to do is that whatever the invoicing process that we have defined in our 
uh, CI billing document, okay, we just need certain extension. We just need to extend certain functionality. One is one functionality is selection control. You can see the highlighted section. The selection control is high, um, highlighted and uh, it has to be extended as VBRK. You just go to the new entry, create the VBRK and save it. That's it. And the other extension you need to do in the invoicing function. In You can see in the next screenshot here, we have extended the functionality as INVB, uh, INV underscore VBRK and doc. We can do that by new entries and then we can create it and save it. Both of the, these extensions are hi highlighted. You can check. So in order to achieve this requirement, we have to do this extension only. What is now? What is my invoicing process? Okay. Just uh, uh, I am supposing that we have already seen the other video and we already know what is invoicing process. Now we have to just uh, do such extensions in that existing invoicing process wherein we have extended in the selection control and invoicing function. That's it about the configuration. Now if we go to the next slide. Now we will do the invoicing. So in this slide, we already have done the required configuration. Now I am going to perform the invoicing. Okay. So select both of the billing document and just click on the top. There is an invoice icon. Click on that and just this window will come wherein the select the invoicing process and click on execute. You can see here I have selected our invoicing process as IP that I have created earlier. And uh, right now I have done the extension in this in uh, existing uh, invoicing process which is IP. Let's move to the next slide. Okay, so here in this slide we can see both the billing document is showing here in the single window and you can select all together option. Uh, we have to just keep it in mind that we have to select the all together option, not all individually option as we do not want to create the invoices separately. We have to have, uh, you know, the uh, consolidated invoice. So we will select all together option and click on continue. Okay. And we will execute this. So let's move on to the next slide. Here in this slide, it will take to, uh, you to the next screen. Here we can see the invoicing document got generated ending with 4.0 here. And at the item level, we can see both the information about CI and SD teams. Now we can see that all the item level information, all the items from billable items uh, from the CI and SD team is available. Also, you can see there are two line items which is related to taxation. The amount is showing over here so one tax uh, line item got generated for ci billing document and the other one got generated for sd billing document so you can check that one as well okay let's move to the next slide now in this slide we can see that in the same invoicing document you can go to the posting document type in that posting document, we, we can see that the posting document got created with two different uh, you know, document IDs. One for SD billing document, reference ending with 46. And another one is CI billing document, reference ending with 02. So these are nothing but our FICA IDs that is got generated. And we can uh, check those IDs from this posting document tab in this same invoicing document. Okay. So let's move to the next slide here in this slide. Uh, both of the document, the source document, we can find out uh, the first one is INVBI and the VVRK in order to create this. Uh, we have used this source types uh, in order to create this invoicing document. OK, so yeah, that is all about today's topic. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please comment below your suggestions about the next topic you want to see in SAP Brim. Thank you so much.